Uh, hi, hello again and welcome on my channel Discover Social Sciences. Uh, once again, I am returning to a slightly different thread of blogging and writing because during the last few updates you could watch in the form of videos and hopefully read on my blog, I was focusing on research uh, regarding like the role of cities in technological change. This is a book I am preparing and uh, I have I am very much involved into that path yet. Uh, there is another thread on my blog which I have been developing since the end of January uh, this year. Uh, I am using my blog to give an account of my like real-time experience as an investor in the stock market. Uh, in the beginning of this year I decided that I need to return after like three years of break uh, to being a small and a little bit aggressive investor uh, in the stock market. It is something that I simply like and I perceive it as a good way to make money. Uh, so I am using my blog to give an account of my, of my personal investment strategy. I consider uh, it as, as having like, let's say, three roles. First of all, I discovered that for myself, uh, writing and blogging about what I do develops my skills in the given field. And I have already noticed that as, as I have been writing and blogging about my investment strategy, I started making uh, better investment uh, decisions. And as you can see, uh, it has brought like a nice result. Uh, I will show it in a moment with numbers. Uh, secondly, it is a piece of educational material mostly for my students in microeconomics and in finance. Although other people can use it and here comes like the third function of this specific thread in my blogging. It serves just as shared experience in a field of life which is quite important because personal finance and uh, like personal small investment in the stock market is something we can do, is uh, something we can get sharp in and uh, it is something that can like help us manage our personal finance and help us uh, and help us let's say steer our own lives. So uh, this is the introduction uh, and here comes another more general introduction for those of you who watch my uh, video for the first time. Uh, in the description box below the video, you can find a link discoversocialsciences.com. If you click on that link, it will take you to the website of my scientific blog, Discover Social Sciences. And uh, on this blog, you will find a written update with a, uh, with a lot of, uh, with a lot of, uh, of more uh, information uh, than I show here in this video. And, uh, this up and this update will have the same title as this video. Hmm? So this is how it is coupled. Uh, on the blog, on, on, on the website of my blog, there is a, a written body text uh, with graphs and tables, which is coupled by the same title with this video. Okay, so this is uh, about it as for the introduction. And now we go into the subject matter. Uh, so first of all, the account, the short account uh, of those last four months since I returned to being an active investor in the stock market. So over those last four months, uh, I invested a total of $3,519 in cash into my investment accounts. Uh, which made me at the end of the day, so on May 27th, two, two days ago, it, uh, I, my total portfolio uh, was of $4,335.75. As it is uh, simple to calculate, uh, my investment brought me a little bit, that, a little bit more than $800 of net profit. Uh, it is a nice result. I, 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 I find it is a nice result. Um, it is like 23% of return on the capital invested. 
and uh, that and let's say that journey that road i covered is made of 26 closed deals so investment positions which i all, all opened in the past and which i closed at some point in time in the past and uh, I have 10 investment pos positions that remain open as for today. So that's a brief sketch. Now, first explanation. Uh, this graph and this, and this part of, of the video is dedicated mostly to those of you who would like to use this video and my blog as some sort of help in planning their own personal financial strategy. Uh, the graph that you can see here is the like the pace of me paying cash into my investment accounts. Uh, now, why do I use the ex the expression investment accounts in plural? Uh, I have two investment accounts. I am Polish. I live in Poland, and f in order to invest in the Polish stock market, I hold an, an account uh, with the Polish brokerage house. And I like to place some of my savings in international stock markets. And for that, I use an international account uh, with an international investment platform called the Giro. Uh, my general philosophy, my general pace of investment is connected to the fact that I have an apartment for rent in town. Every month as I collect the rent, I invest the rent in the stock market. And here you can see like the calendar of my payments into the uh, into the investment account so far. Here you have that like large blue bar uh, by the beginning of April. It was a moment when I panicked a little bit and I transferred all the capital I had on my international account to my domestic account. It was a little bit of panic, but it was a panic which proved uh, later on to be like an informed panic because that transfer allowed me to buy uh, some stock of Polish biotech companies exactly at the moment uh, when they were riding like on, on an ascending wave of a short-term speculative bubble. And long story short, I, uh, the whole COVID-19 crisis in financial markets made me both lose money and earn money, but my gain is much larger than my losses. So what I have experienced so far is, let's say, something like crisis finance or earning money in the stock market uh, on the wave of like crisis type developments. And here is precisely the story of me earning money in the stock market. Uh, as you can see, that graph it, uh, uh, okay, uh, first of all, I explain what this graph is representing. It represents cumulative profit over time. So uh, the timeline, the horizontal axis on the graph uh, is ordered according to the starting date uh, when I opened each of my 36 deals. Because in total, over those last four months, I made a total of 36 deals in the stock market, 26 of which are closed now and 10 remain open. Uh, among them, there are 30, uh, 13 deals at a profit and 23 uh, which ended up in a loss. And uh, the story unfolds like from, uh, from let's say, no, uh, from my right to my left. Uh, so, from like the zero point of, of the graph, you have the timeline which advances from the very end of January until uh, the beginning of May when I opened my, let's say, last investment position among those that remain open today. And you can see an interesting cycle. Uh, uh, in this graph, in the beginning, I was losing money that cumulative uh, profit, which is in the beginning uh, like a cumulative loss because it is, it is below the zero line. It is like the story of me learning and relearning some basic intuitions that are needed in the stock market. And then suddenly, pump, I started er earning money by the end of March and beginning April. I started to ride that short-term speculative wave in the Polish stock market. 
And uh, this is essentially that cycle that I'm very much focused on in the written body text of this specific update. Uh, I intuitively feel that uh, right now it is a moment like to reorient myself uh, in the financial market to look for new bearings. It is an intuition which is partly a gut feeling, but it is also a, something like an informed intuition. Uh, in this update, you will find a study uh, of the fundamentals uh, of, of the fundamentals of my 10 open investment positions and generally companies which uh, or whose shares I uh, hold now all seem to be accumulating a lot of cash. Uh, it is a phenomenon which I know by observation over the last few years. And uh, I know that when companies like across the board from different sectors accumulate a lot of cash, it means that they are like poised and up to something for some deep and quick technological change, which seems to be imminent. Okay, so this is the, a very short summary uh, of uh, a much longer and much and much more complex update that you can find on my blog. So once again, if you are interested in discovering more, you go into the description box below this video. You click on the link discoversocialsciences.com. The link takes you to the website of my blog, Discover Social Sciences. And there uh, you will find a written update, which is we, uh, which has the same title as this video and they are both coupled. So have fun with science and have fun with life. Bye.